Hey everyone, James Reeves, TFB TV here at the Rock Island Armory booth, SHOT Show 2023 with the guy with the best name in the entire gun industry, Mr. John McClain. I'm not making this shit up. You guys have seen him before on TFB TV. John, you're going to give us the walkthrough of Rock Island Armory. What's been new over the past year? What's coming up this year for 2023? We're starting right here with the... This is going to be the, the PF-14 and the VRPF-14. So uh, a year or two, maybe a year and a half ago, we released the VRF-14, which was the semi-auto box-fed firearm. It was a 14-inch, 12-gauge firearm that was not a Class 3 item or anything like that. What we've done here is instead of them being semi-auto, we've now made them pump action. We have a tube-fed pump action version and then a magazine-fed uh, pump action. Runs the five round mags, you can run the two, nine, 19, any VR mag will run inside this one as well. Um, and because it's still not classified as a SBS or anything like that, means you don't have to get a tax stamp for it. MSRP on these I think is uh, 449 for either version. Uh, the pump, the tube fed is gonna be five plus one, and then with the magazine, five plus one. Which one do you like better, John? Uh, I mean, if I had to go with it, I kind of like the magazine fed just because I like the option of being able to add extra rounds without having to swap out tubes and springs and all that kind of stuff. I'd rather just throw a new mag in there and, and go from there. Sure. No, I get it. You're lazy. Understood. Exactly. Yeah, Under copy. Oh, uh, you know, why, why do more when you can do less and still get away with it? Yeah, absolutely. So what's our next item here? So let's go around to the other side of this wall here. Now, this firearm is something that has been seven years in the making. Um, well, longer than that, but as far as our, our production side of it, this is the one that everyone kind of been talking about. It was just recently on the cover of American Handgunner magazine. This is the 5.0 from RIA USA. So we opened up our facility in Cedar City, Utah. Here's the big project that we've been working on that's been on the down low. Now, what makes this thing interesting is not that uh, it's not that it's a gun or anything like that. The first thing you'll notice is it looks like a striker fired to your uh, audience out there. But in fact, when you look down there, you can actually see the hammer because it is an internal hammer system, which means that the trigger is not a striker fired trigger. It's actually more of a single action hammer fired trigger feel to it. Now, uh, the why do I want that? Why do I want that? Uh, you know, you just get a little bit nicer, cleaner pull through. I mean, throughout the entire trigger pull, it's a little bit nicer, a little bit cleaner, a little bit smoother. So even from the pre-travel, it's just glass smooth. The brake, it, it kind of just kind of rolls through the brake as well, and then not much over travel. And the reset is, I, I always compare this as like, if a 1911 and a striker fired had a baby, this is what it would have been, okay, sure. as far as the trigger goes. And I want the viewers out there to know that John might seem like an above average marketer, but he is in fact, not only that, but an above average shooter. Now I'm giving you a, a hard time, but, but John's a, actually a great shooter. So when, he, I mean, the guy knows what he's talking about. So now the other thing about this uh, firearm that's interesting is if you watch the barrel as I cycle it, you'll notice that all it does is slide back and forth. There's no barrel tilt to it. And that's because of how the barrel and the slide lock up as a, as a complete system. And that's from our RVS ram valve system. So that's the recoil system that's in here. Um, basically, this gun does not take apart like every other gun. You're probably gonna have to read the instruction manuals one or twice, uh, once or twice, just to get used to how the system breaks down. But as far as the internals of here, um, the way that recoil system works makes this gun feel extremely soft while you're shooting it. You don't get a lot of visual distortion from the sight picture, like it, it's very predictable. Um, and because of how low the bore axis is on this gun, it just shoots and sh it shoots and feels very flat and very soft. So even though we're shooting, uh, typically we shoot, you know, 124 factory load, arm square ammunition through it, it's almost like you're shooting a gamer load just because of the recoil system and everything in here. So um, we have, we're doing some limited edition runs right now. Numbers one through 150 will have a specialized serial number. So this one is actually 157 of 300. And those are gonna be Seymour RDS versions. So it will ship with the Red Dot site, ready to install and, and rock and roll from it. Uh, it also ships with three magazines. MSRP on this is 1298. And when's it coming out? It is out. Um, we are selling it. <coughs> 
We, you can purchase it off advancedtactical.com as they become available. We're kind of releasing them as we go in batches. We released, I think, our first 20 versions of them, and I think within the hour, they were all gone. Oh, okay. So, yeah. If, so, if we want one, we need to kind of... be on it. Yeah, ready, got to, it. Ready to hit that buy button. Okay. And then this version, which was the iron sight version, is going to be 151 to 300 for the first set of limited editions versions. And again, the difference is just that they're going to be um, iron sights instead of the red dot version. Okay. Now, what do we have next? Next, we're going to step across the way over here. This is called the LI-380, the Lightning 380. Um, it's going to be a double action, single action, uh, chambered in three, 380 ACP, um, concealed carry firearm that is just, even though it's got the polymer grip to it, the rest of it's steel, so you still get enough weight that, I mean, not 380 is a terrible caliber to shoot anyway as far as recoil impulse. Right. Less but is always better. Less is always better, and especially less felt is always better. So by going with the, the steel frame, steel slide, and all that stuff, you just get a little bit more extra weight on the front end of that gun, which makes this gun way more enjoyable to shoot over a longer period of time. I mean, everyone can go take their pocket pistols out and shoot 50 rounds and say, that sucked, I'm over it and done with. At least with this pistol, you can actually get two, 300 rounds through it and not actually feel like your hand's just been beat to hell all day long, okay? Um, so this one, MSRP is for $299. Uh, I, I think it ships with one magazine for it, but um, great shooting pistol. I had a chance of shooting it a couple months ago just to, to get some film stuff and uh, uh, awesome, 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 uh, firearm for someone that maybe first time purchaser that wants to get into the CCW world um, or the person that just likes guns and wants another one. <laughs> Did you give me the capacity numbers on this? Uh, this one is eight plus one. Okay, single stack magazine. Uh, does it share a mag pattern or is it proprietary? Uh, I believe it's uh, no. I, it might it might share with the uh, the Bursas when they were when they were. In oh, gotcha. Yeah, like pattern. the Bursa Thunder 380 or something. That'd be exactly. kind of cool because you know they're all those Bursa Thunder 380 magazines rolling around. Right, and and that was one thing I like about this versus like something like a Walter PPK. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, yeah. or not the Walter PPK. What was the other one? Uh, no, the Sig. What was their P2, vision? Uh, P230. Yeah, no. P230. Yeah, yeah, it yeah, was like the right. magazine releases on the bottom. Yeah, that's you right. yeah, yeah. I like the fact that it's got a regular kind of magazine release to it instead of one that's like this weird one that you right, have to do a right, weird right. manual of arms for. So um, that's going to be the LI-380. Okay, next. Now we have a new addition to the BBR series, which is our Baby Rock series. We have the 310, which is what this one is, except the original 310 was chambered in 45 ACP. We now put it in 9mm. Um, it'll still ship with 10 round mags. But you can fit any of the high cap magazines into this frame. So if you have a full size 17 round bag you want to throw in here, then by all means go for it, right? Sure. Um, the note, uh, the difference between the 45 and the 9 millimeter version is the 45 had ported uh, barrel to help with recoil. recoil impulse and all that kind of stuff. This one does not because it's 9 millimeter. And what we were able to do from that is uh, the 45 version had a flat black front sight because the porting would melt the fiber optic. No shit. Now that we don't have that, we are able to put that fiber optic front sight back in the, cool. into the gun. Uh, and you still have some lightning cut, so we're able to reduce the mass of the reciprocating recoil, um, or the reciprocating mass over your hand during recoil. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> and uh, this gun just, it, if you like the 45 version, I feel like you'll like the 9 millimeter a little bit better because one, you'll be able to put even more capacity when we have other options for mags. I believe they're able to fit 12 if we get a flush fit. Yeah, and what's, what's the mag compatibility? What's the pattern? Uh, so it's, it's R310, but it's uh, any any of the high cap versions of the Rock Island Armory firearms will fit in here as long Got as it. they're the correct caliber. Don't try and stick a 45 mag into the 9mm gun because the bullets won't feed. Somebody will. <laughs> Somebody will. I exactly. certainly, I promise you that. Price, availability. Uh, available, They are, I believe they're already shipping, and the MSRP on this one is $699. Okay, great. What's our next item? Let's go around. God, you guys got you got too much new stuff here. You do. Too much. <laughs> so we have the original TM22 that we released about a year ago, which is totally metal front to back, 22 long rifle, right? And now one of the new versions that we have out here is a 22, uh, the TM22 featherweight. So this one being completely metal, this one actually has a polymer upper lower receiver, polymer magazine. So we kind of went the opposite ver version of it, right? Whatever's metal is metal. The rest of it we tried to make polymer to make it as light as possible. So this is brand new, should be shipping uh, later on this year. I'm not sure exactly what quarter. Uh, and the MSRP on this one I think is $299. Um, it'll ship with 10 round mags, but we have 15 and 25 round mags that'll also be available. They are proprietary, but uh, from my understanding, I believe these will actually fit the metal one. So if you have a metal version and you happen to buy the featherweight because maybe you want to reduce the weight, whether or not you're hiking in and out of property for squirrel hunting or just for flinking, 
it should still run them. Now, visibly, it favors the AR-15. I imagine there's probably not any parts compatibility, though. This more looks like an AR-15 than... Yeah, correct. Yeah, the design of the, the receiver system is actually the same design as the TM-22, which was proprietary as well. But, the, you know, looks, it could fool you a little bit. <laughs> John McLean, phew. I am, I am wiped right? from all the new releases you guys here, have here at RIA. Please tell me that's it, or is there something else? Uh, those are the big ones. The other, the other additions would just be maybe some different calibers of the same models and stuff like that. But for the most part, that's the new stuff that we got. I know it was kind of a lot, but uh, it's exciting for us to be able to, to expand the line at the rate that we're able to do it. And the biggest thing was just the addition of RIA USA, the fact that everyone else is sending jobs overseas Martin's bringing them into the States. So the opening of the new factory in Cedar City is very exciting. We're looking forward to seeing uh, what other products we can make here in the U.S. Yes, John, it was a lot, but a lot of you is never too much. (laughs) Thank you. I appreciate that. Tell my girlfriend. And there's never too much TFB TV SHOT Show 2023 coverage. Stay tuned.